Welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Strasbourg Railroad number 475 and this is a former Norfolk and Western Railway steam locomotive and it's another commission by Catch a Train Railfan Productions and he also commissioned like three other locomotives which I have a video on and yeah if you want to do a commission um, they're just $1.99 on my Sellify page link in the description and uh, let's get started so first off let's take another brick stairs and place that three blocks uh, wide on top of the tracks and behind it you want the same thing but upside down and then uh, right over here we're gonna add a coupling which is just a stone brick slab right on top of the middle one in the front and then let's take another brick slab just add five blocks wide on top of the back stairs and then we're gonna take some more of this another brick and make it three blocks wide behind that and then we're gonna take uh, gray wool add that in the middle and we want to make this 13 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then let's go back to the front and uh, make this part a 2 by 3 and then on the edges let's add uh, black wool it's two blocks and this is for the piston and under it let's add another brick slab like that and uh, let's just let's just continue this gray wool it just goes on for oh, okay so it's a three by three now we can add the wheels underneath which are just hopper on the sides for the middle part if you want you can add another brick slab between it although you can't really see it because this thing is kind of blocking your view so it should look like that and after that let's add um, let's add the stairs like the forward driving wheels I think and that's gonna start right here so one and there's going to be no gaps between the wheels so they're all kind of squished together so just keep that in mind so we're making four of these on each side all right and then the other side then got to go this part got to add these corners again just four two and three four just fill it in you know it's actually quite similar to the other locomotive that I was doing from the Strasbourg Railroad but then I just saw like a bunch of changes I need to do after looking at it more and more <laughs> I was afraid that there was gonna be no real difference just to add another wheel but there are some changes like the cab in the back they're much lower and other stuff like that um, maybe in the end of the video I could just compare because I have it all the way over there it's not right next to us so after we do that let's take a stone slab and add that right here and you want to extend it to uh, just before the end of the last wheel same thing on this side so half of the last wheel and then let's make uh, two of them right here on the top and then make three going diagonal like that do the same thing on the side and once we're done with that let's take uh, polish and a site and add three like that and let's make a plus sign And let's add stone brick stairs in the corners. And right here towards the front, we're going to add gray wool in the center. And let's have a part that sticks out with the polish andesite right here, the chimney or the smokestack. And let's have black wool in the front. It's going to be like a little lamp. and let's put an item frame and white stained glass in it like that and once we're done with that let's add 
Yeah, let's just extend this part. So we're gonna take actually we need that. Uh, let's take black wall and we're gonna extend this plus sign, but make it black. All right, so we're gonna take this black wall and make it seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just continue it. And also you gotta add the corner pieces as well, which is this uh, nether brick stairs. This side as well, and on the top. All right, next let's add a little dome here. Black wool one block away from the smokestack. Then skip a block, add a skeleton skull. Uh, you can face it backwards, and then let's have another brick slab and uh, another black wall, and let's take uh, another brick fence. And just add that to the side of it like that and let's make the cab so we're gonna take black wool and just have it go in the outer ones like this and I'm not sure if I'm doing this right <laughs> alright maybe one block above it so it looks like this and below here for the floor I think we could just fill that in it's like four blocks long so one two three four and just fill in the middle three. Let's fill in the sides. And then we're gonna replace one so that we can have the little number. I think it says 475 on it. And after we do that, let's take a uh, red stained glass pane. Just add two of them on top in the middle. And um, one light gray uh, stained glass in the front. And in the back, let's add a pillar of black wool. And also, let's add a, a black wool wall in the front. It's like a three by three. Then on the sides of the cab roof, we're going to add another brick slab. And uh, we're going to extend that by one. So it's like jutting out a little bit like that. And for the roof, I'm going to use pink hardened clay to fill it in. And I know before I use uh, black wool, but I think actually you can make this work. <laughs> so maybe you might have to change the other locomotives if you want to make them all like the same All right, so after we're done with that, let's take uh, another brick slab and just uh, Start from all the way to the back of the cab and go towards the front in a straight line and when you get to the front we're gonna leave this alone and do the other side and this is also one of the uh, changes that I have to do <laughs> to make this locomotive. We got like this piece that goes downwards, like that, and we just put <laughs> we're just putting uh, another big stairs like that. And on top of that, let's add a uh, black carpet, just two black carpets like that. And then uh, on the sides adjacent to the chimney, we're gonna add um, stone brick slab like that. And then we're gonna add uh, four more black carpet. One, two, three, four. And then right there, we're gonna add uh, another brick slab above and below. So, like that. And for the other side, I think I just left it all alone. I just made it all completely black carpet. So, let's just continue that. And for this side, let's just fill these two black carpet. All right, so the next thing is probably the tender. I think that's the only thing left to do, and we're just gonna add another big uh, slab right here, three blocks, and then we're gonna take an upside down another brick slab. Just have that sticking out. And below it, another brick slab, and this is for the stairs to get up. All right, so the next thing is adding black wool right here. Yeah, let's make it five blocks wide and make it two blocks tall. And from this point on, we're gonna make it 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Just do the same thing on the other side. And once we get to the back, we're going to make a 2x5. Then we're going to take upside down nether brick uh, stairs and just continue where this ladder was. Just, yeah, we're just going all the way to the back. Till we reach this point. And let's do the other side. And once we're done with that, let's actually fill in the bottom part. We're going to use uh, black wool for the floor. And we can start the, uh, maybe here, I'm not sure. Let's start over here, right where the tinder starts. And just continue all the way to the back. And for the back section, we're going to have a little ledge right here so just add five more at the back and let's add a coupling in the middle sticking out like that and let's take another brick slab just add that to the sides for another ladder and then let's add a real <laughs> minecraft ladder right here just two blocks tall and alongside it let's add another brick fence three blocks tall and uh, make it go curve around the top of it and right next to that we're going to add black wool block and add our back lamp which is just an item frame and white stained glass so it's like the same thing as we did in the front alright then we're going to go to the front of the tender and we're going to move this wall this 2x3 wall uh, one block back so that we have more space around here Yep. And let's add uh, another brick slab. Just add three blocks in the middle. Then we're going to take uh, another brick slab or stairs. Just add that in the corner. Corner of the front. And then we're going to take block wall again. And make this part a six or five. Five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then another brick stairs. So just do that both sides, and then let's make. Okay, so I made this wall a little short, so I'm gonna <laughs> raise it up a bit. So we're gonna fill that in with black wool, and then we're gonna add uh, these three nether brick slabs, and we're gonna make another wall uh, after this nether brick stairs right here. Now let's fill in this uh, hole with a block of coal. So it should be like a 3x3 three three hole. And this section we're just going to fill that in with uh, black wool. Alright so after we do that let's take um, some more black wool. Just add two more to this side and this side. Then we're going to take a uh, smooth sandstone and make this, and it's going to be four blocks long, so one, two, three, four. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to take black wool, fill in the rest, like so. Alright, then we're going to take a smooth sandstone, just add a block in the middle like that in the back for the little... <laughs> numbers in the back and then we're gonna have to add uh, the wheels and I think that should be it after we do that so let's take a hopper and stone brick slab right we got that and we also want an iron trap door so we're gonna go to the front of the tender and we're gonna start right there just hopper then skip to hopper so it's a little different from what we usually do but not that much I have done this technique before and go to the back and we're gonna start right here where the stairs upside down stairs begins and then fill in the middle two with the stone brick slab and then let's go to the middle of this in between the 
two bogeys. I think these are bogeys, right? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to add um, Iron Trap Door right in the middle of that on both sides. And that should be pretty much it on how to build the Strasbourg Railroad 475. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks again to Catch a Train Rail Fan Productions for commissioning my build. And anyways guys, if you guys enjoy this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't read because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And if you want to do commissions and support the channel, you could just check out my Selfie page and uh, you can commission a train for $1.99. So anyways guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.